Hello everyone, this is PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another video. Now I wanted to make this video for quite some time, uh, basically show you the maximum potential of this PS5 using the Hisense U8G slash U8H TVs. This will work for both 55 and 65 inch. This particular model here is the UHG which is the 2021 model 65 inch. Now I wanted to make this to show you uh, the full capability, get all the settings right to get that 120 hertz um, capability on 4K, get the HDR work and everything because there are some settings and I know there are some other videos out there but I, after doing my research for quite some time, uh, putting everything together, I feel like this is gonna be the best video you're ever gonna see to really truly explain to you everything uh, so you can understand. Now, uh, first, let's talk about this TV. Uh, this TV has two ports on the left side that support 120 hertz. That's very important, which are the two bottom ones, HDMI 3 and HDMI 4. Those are the ones that support the HDMI uh, 2.1 120 hertz. Now, of course, if you have a PS5, it comes with the authentic 2.1. HDMI cable which you don't have to worry about some bootleg one that won't work and believe me when it comes down uh, to get all your settings and if it's not the, the authentic good quality cable there will be some issues so that's very important next we're gonna start off with some settings here with the Hisense TV you go ahead and click the menu now we're gonna start off here first and then jump into the PlayStation settings themselves to get all the options to work okay so first you want to go ahead and hit HDMI format and hit enhanced format now that's going to be pretty much one of the most main important options that we're going to start off with that first you go ahead and, and uh, do that and that will allow you to unlock the 120 Hertz now you see we're in 120 Hertz right now and next we'll go ahead and go to the settings scroll down and go to this option basically just follow along all my settings and it'll get you where you want to be and also uh, I'm gonna show you how to get that crisp HDR settings so go ahead go down to game presets choose the second option here performance mode or resolution mode go ahead hit performance mode this will unlock the 120 Hertz now we go back I'll try to do it uh, slow enough so everybody could uh, follow along go to screen and video and just copy down my settings resolution 2160p VRR automatic 120 Hertz output automatic ALLM automatic refresh rate automatic HDR always on deep color output automatic and RGB range full now we are all set on this end go ahead and exit now we're gonna jump right back in into the menu here this is the Hisense menu and go to game zone game information and go ahead and turn that on now let me show you what that does in case you don't know it shows you all your readings and that's what you want and that's what I want to show you because not all videos show you that you could actually have all those options working so we have the 120 Hertz we have the HDR we have the VRR and the ALLM on next and you have an option of course to choose which corner you want you can move this around I like the bottom right corner okay next we're gonna go back to the menu and now I'm going to show you my settings to basically show you that pop, that nice HDR 
color and of course this is all up to you you could try these settings if they don't work for you then you could mess around with with the other picture settings so hit picture uh, I am using an HDR sport as the picture mode I find it to be just right now we're gonna go to advanced setting and everything pretty much stays the same now to get that ALLM to work you gotta have the instant game response on now if you have that off that option will be off so three three out of four options will be on but that one will be off so it's very important to have this on and now one last thing is this option here HDMI input optimization I choose this one text clarity optimization uh, it gives a much more uh, natural color crispier look and not washed out colors now you would think that the picture quality will be better option for this but nope not when it comes at least uh, to PS5 games so that's your last option here and now you are ready and what we're gonna do here we're gonna you use uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis here uh, the remake to show you basically the color and stuff now of course the first time you're gonna go on your first game that supports it you will have to change some settings so in this case when you go to display you hit the HDR mode on to get that pop and go to graphic settings and here you'll have two options we're using the high frame rate mode which is on right now that'll gives us 120 Hertz at least in most of the time for this game uh, this is a you know a really nice uh, game and you'll notice that not always it's going to be constant 120 hertz but anything above 60 is already phenomenal now if you choose the ray tracing on then you'll get those ray tracing um, reflections but you'll be locked at 60 and sometimes less depending on what scene you're in so here you have it every single option is on now now i'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and hopefully this will give you a better look of the coloring here so now there it is I don't know if you could tell with my uh, 1080p camera here but this is absolutely fantastic it looks phenomenal everything looks crisp you got that nice HDR quality now I'm gonna shoot the the rocket and you could see the flames uh, that's how you know the HDR is working Otherwise, uh, if it's off, it's going to look dull and pixely, the, all the fire explosions. And of course, one last thing. Um, I know we were in the... Let me just jump out and go back to the, to the PlayStation main, men, main menu. Now, you see here, it shows you 120 hertz. That's because... Uh, when when I first turned this on and started making this video, I went into the game and it gave me 120 hertz. But what, after all the settings we showed you, that I showed you, you're not gonna see the 120 hertz on the screen just yet until you actually go into the game, activate it, and then when you jump back to this menu, like to your main menu, then you'll see the 120 hertz, which is absolutely normal. It basically stays on 120 hertz until the next time you turn it off then you turn your ps5 back on you'll have all the other options on but the fps will show you at only 60 hertz until you actually jump back into an 120 hertz capable game so that's it pretty much uh hopefully this video was helpful and finally uh, make you understand uh, the capability of this tv uh, it's fantastic. Everything looks great. The blacks are awesome. I definitely recommend this TV. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, share, and subscribe. It's very important. Help me out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.